Look at that vault, Brenda. Nice. Well, much of the country is getting ready for a solar eclipse on Monday. It's a concept very much understood here in southern Idaho. You remember this? We experienced a great total solar eclipse seven years ago, August of 2017. Cities like Weezer, Garden Valley, and Sun Valley were in that path of totality, and thousands of people flocked across Idaho to get a perfect glimpse of the total eclipse. It was very neat to see, and in Boise, it was a near total eclipse, and our team was scattered throughout the state that day. Here's a look back at what we saw. It's like the sun is setting. Okay, let's listen in. This <gasps> crowd now has come to life. Ladies and gentlemen, totality has arrived. Oh, look at wow. Look I can. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Once in a lifetime. I think this is the most amazing thing I'll ever see. And I looked around during the totality and people were just jumping up and down. A few tears were shed. What did you think about the reaction of the crowd? Were you surprised? No, this is my third eclipse. It's always this way. <laughs> 70 eclipse. All right. I've never done a live shot from the top of a Ferris wheel before, so this is really cool. First for me, a first coast to coast total solar eclipse. I'm having fun just like everybody else. It was amazing. Uh, no camera will ever do justice to that. It was magical. Uh, not to sound cliched, but the, the way the light just dimmed, the temperature got cooler, uh, and everything went silent. And then the sun, the moon moved straight in front of the sun, plunging us into darkness, revealing the corona. That was amazing. It is hard to describe that. I remember being up at, at the high school in Weezer, and when it starts, it just yeah. feels so strange. But anyways, in case you were curious, here's now the 2017 eclipse, and we'll show you how it stacks up with this year's eclipse. So in 2017, Brenda, it went from west to east, mm. right through the southern part of Idaho, all the way through South Carolina. This year, though, it runs from south to north, through Mexico and all the way up through Canada. And if you're wondering what the eclipse will look like in Idaho this time around, you can check out this story on our website at KTVB.com.